The gentle lullaby of Christmas Eve has faded into the night. The angelic arpeggios have gracefully whispered away. The stillness has ended. The dawn breaks and the light pours into the hushed manger scene. The earth awakens with joy. We are called to rejoice, proclaim, behold, give thanks, sing, and make a joyful noise. Break forth, O beautiful heavenly light. Usher in this new day where the sea, the world, and all who live in it roar in jubilation. God has done a spectacular thing. On any given day, light renews energy to plants and animals. It orients and guides our paths, and it allows us to witness the planets and celestial orbs. But the light today reminds us of the arrival of God's Son, and it brings forth gifts and challenges for our lives. The soft sweetness of the infant Christ child quickly crescendos into the glorious majesty of God's promised salvation to the ends of the earth. On this day, the dim lights and shadows have been swept aside by the warmth and intensity of God's Son. The Word has been made flesh. The Word has come to live among us. The glory of God has been revealed. True light is in the world. Today is a day of celebration and awe-filled wonder at this marvelous thing that God has done. Let the cosmos be filled with joy. Please rise and sing to our God. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, 
the world and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers have their hands, and let the hills sing out with joy before the Lord, who comes to judge the earth. The Lord will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Almighty God, you gave us your only Son to take on our human nature and to illumine the world with your light. By your grace, adopt us as your children and enlighten us with your spirit through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'd like to invite the choir Lord.
On the other end of the building, there are two bathrooms, and there are no windows. And sometimes, Mrs. Cusack, her name's her name, she stops in to use the bathroom while she's at work. And I love to slide my hand in the door, and I shut the bathroom lights off on her. So she's in the dark. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And then she's yelling, hey, curse, turn the lights on, I can't see. Isn't that mean of me? Yeah. <laughs> Lights help us to see. It's pretty important to have light, isn't it? Pretty important to have light. Today, when you listen to the gospel story, and when you listen to my sermon, every single word of it, you're going to hear me talk about Jesus being what? What do you think you're going to talk about Jesus being? Huh? Born? That's one thing. What else do you think I'm going to talk about? Light! The gospel of John says Jesus is a light for the world. So if Jesus is a light for the world, we're not going to tip that up and have lots of light, right? <laughs> Jesus is the light for the world, which means Jesus helps us see. But what does Jesus help us see? Dude, Jesus, born in that manger, who, 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 say, God? Did you say God? You're right! Give me a high phone, oh, no, do this, knock off the punch. Yeah. Jesus helps us see God. We see the goodness and the love and the compassion and the forgiveness of God through Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. Now I'm going to give you something. Okay? You get a little present from me this morning. Seth, could you bring this over? We each get to pick a candle and a book of matches. <laughs> okay, take a candle. Everybody get a candle. Red or green? Can you reach? Whoops. Uh, Ellie, would, you give, would you give Sonia another one? Oh, good, good. Grant, you want one? Now, actually, I didn't give you any matches. You've got to ask your moms and dads and grandpas and grandmas. But sometime today, on this day that we celebrate Jesus as the light of the world, sometime today, when it gets dark out tonight, ask an adult in your house to shut off all the lights and you light the candle and have no other lights on, okay? And, then we're, and when the candle gets lit in the dark, remember how the candle lets you see. And then remember how God, Jesus, the birth of Jesus, lets you see God. Okay? Okay, let's say a prayer, all right? Gracious God, thank you for the gift of Jesus, the light of the world. May he kindle light in our hearts and keep us alive and excited always. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Wait, you get this up first. Oh, wait, Dad and Mom. Okay. When I say three, but hi, Dad and Mom, right? <coughs> One, two, three. Hi, Dad and Mom. <laughs> okay. You guys can go back to your seats. Thank you. <laughs>